Meta AI keeps on evolving. Introducing Code Llama, an extension to Llama 2 for coding needs, which finally bridges the gap between GPT 3.5 model and Llama, as Code Llama is now capable of debugging, generating code, and focusing on natural language about code. Now, with the human evaluation benchmark, it shows that Code Llama's Python model achieved a higher score of 53.7 versus GPT's 3.5 model, which only received a score of 48.1. Llama code is fully open source and free for research and commercial use. Now, this model has been fine tuned from Llama 2's base models and comes in three different flavors. We have vanilla, instruct, and python with model sizes of 7 billion parameters, 13 billion, 34 billion, with the smallest models being runnable on a local desktop with decent GPUs. Now, throughout today's video, I'm going to be going more in depth with Llama code as well as showcasing how you can install it locally on your desktop. So, with that thought, let's get right into the video. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. As I talked about the start, we're going to be showcasing how you can actually install Meta AI's Code Llama model. But before we go more in depth with everything, I'm going to be showcasing what you will need for the installation process. Now, what I want you guys to do first is go to this video where I showcase how to install Text Generation Web UI, as this is the application that will be used to host the model now what i want you to do is watch this installation tutorial if you guys do not have text generation web ui which is also known as ooga booga now this is a one click installer which installs this application called pinocchio and it hosts the text text generation web ui off of its application you can see in this video you simply just go on pinocchio's website click on download once you click on download you click on windows and once you go forward it shows what you need to do later on in the video where you just need to click like through two or three clicks and you're able to install a text generation web ui fairly easily as you just need to go forward search for the model that you need which you can see that i go on later a little while later where i have installed pinocchio's application and within pinocchio's application i install text generation web ui now from this i just showcase what you need to do to set up the model which is legit just putting in your gpu type and once it is fully installed you're able to host it within a couple of minutes and from this once you're at this step we'll get to the next step where we'll now load and install the code llama model if you would like to access our private discord and get exclusive features definitely check out the patreon page if you guys haven't followed world of ai please do so so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you subscribe turn notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai trends so with that thought let's get right back into the video so once you have pinocchio installed i just want you guys to start up text generation web ui and you're able to do that by clicking on this button start chat model so this might take a couple of seconds but once it has fully loaded onto your local host we'll get to the next step now, once you have started Text Generation Web UI, you simply just need to click on Open Web UI. Now, this will prompt it up onto your local host, and we'll then get to the next step where we will load the model onto our Text Generation Web UI. Now, guys, if you are to go onto the Meta AI's actual blog post for Llama code, you can see that when you click on Download the Code Llama model, it asks for making you request access for the next version of Llama, in which you can request it fairly easy by clicking on Code Llama. Now, this might take a couple of minutes or hours as many people are not able to do this fairly easily. But in this case, if you're not able to install the model uh, from this, you can easily do so by accessing from Hugging Face. Now, there is a user called The Bloke, and he is always up to date with releasing the models fairly uh, as early as possible as Meta AI just released this model around two hours ago and he legit uploaded it around like 5, 10, 20 minutes ago and he made sure that he uploaded all different types of flavors as well as different parameter sizes of models. Now if you do not have a very strong GPU, I highly recommend you do not play around with anything above 7 billion parameters. You should only stick with the 7 billion parameter models. So in this case, select the model that you want. He has uploaded each and every flavor and parameter size of the code llama models so 
I'll leave this link in the description below as well as many of the other links that I'll be using throughout today's video. But in this case, I'm just going to showcase something such as this Code Llama 7 billion instruct model. Now, what you want to do is copy this code uh title and what you want to do or not the code but the model card title and once you have copied this open up your text generation tab up go on to model now what you want to do is paste the model card over here and click download now this is going to take a couple minutes as it's a huge model card and once this is fully installed we'll get to the next step now once it has fully installed, you simply just need to click on refresh button over here, select the model as what the model card states over here and it'll put the, put it down in the drop down menu now the reason why i'm not installing this is because my gpu cannot handle it but i'm just giving you a step-by-step -step demonstration of what happens so basically once you have fully installed it you simply just need to reload it click on the model from the drop down menu and just simply click load now once it has fully loaded you can easily chat with the model right away and that is easy as that guys you're able to run llama code fairly easy with a few clicks with Pinocchio as well as text generation web UI. So now let us get to the next step of the video where I'll talk a little bit more about this model by going more in depth and talking about some of the benchmarks as well as the capabilities. So if you're interested in that, definitely stay tuned throughout the video as we'll go more in depth by taking a look at the research paper. So with that thought, let's get right to the next step of the video. Now, as we talked about this video, this is an amazing step that Meta has taken as Code Llama is definitely taking a step forward by evolving the Llama 2 base models with this Code Llama model. Now, they have done a great job in focusing on three distinct flavors, which is Vanilla, Instruct, and Python, which are each tailored to cater to various coding scenarios and user preferences. Now, the models boost an impressive dimension, which basically spans to different parameters as they release three different sizes. We have the 7 billion parameter size, you have the 13 billion parameter size, and a 34 billion parameter size, respectively, as they've been able to focus on different types of sizes with the different flavors that they have released now this is something that you should definitely take a look at as it has done a great job in terms of its performance on the human evaluation benchmark benchmark that i want to focus on is the human evaluation benchmark and this is where they have taken the code llama python model which has showcased to achieve a score of 53.7 versus GPT's 3.5 model, which achieved the 48.1 score. Now we can see that it's able to outpace GPT's 3.5 model, but when it comes to GPT's 4 model, it has fallen short drastically. As we can see that GPT was 4 was able to achieve a 67% with this benchmark with this model and we can see further that when it's evaluated on the method body property prediction task llama's code model is able to demonstrate superiority by achieving a 56.2 model compared to his gpt's 3.5 model score of 52.2 percent so it's able to do really good with gpt's 3.5 model however it falls a little short with gpt's 4 model now in other cases it definitely demolishes other coding large language models such as star coder as well as many different ones that are out there that haven't been able to achieve similar types of results to what code llama is actually able to do now let us take a look at the data set briefly now one thing that stood out to me the most is that they trained code llama on 500 billion tokens during the initial phase which later then commenced to starting off from the 7 billion 13 billion as well as the 34 billion parameter models of llama 2. now they shown in a table further above in table one now i don't know where table one is which basically is showcasing that the llama code llama model is trained predominantly on the near duplicates data sets of publicly accessible code and they sourced eight percent of the sample data from natural language data sets related to code so it shows that they were accessing publicly 
uh, demonstrations of code samples and only 8% of the data set comprises of information that is from natural language data sets which is linked to coding so it just shows that they are compiling a data set that with multitudes of discussions and conversations surrounding code and this data set basically includes snippets of code that are embedded within natural language queries or responses now to maintain the model's proficiency in understanding the natural language nuisance they have basically deployed a small fraction of batches that are selected from a dedicated natural language data set which we can see why they utilize only eight percent of that sample data so it just goes to show that that they have made sure that their data set is very refined to only coding aspects and they have done a great job to formulate this data set lastly i just want to demonstrate how it does a great job in generating a response from a code input prompt so we can see with this prompt in bash we, this is also the one that we see on their blog post in bash how do i list all text files in current directory excluding subdirectories that have been modified in the last month and we can see that it responds fairly fast and it gives a really detailed answer where it says you can find the command in bash to list all text files in current directories excluding subdirectories that have been modified in the last month the command would be and it gives a detailed breakdown of the command now this is something that is very very well detailed and it gives special instructions to you that does something in a computer program now this code llama program is something that replies with clear and simple explanations and this is something that we haven't seen really with other models and it's just great to see that they have done a great job to focus on the generative ai responses so i highly recommend that you check this out as it's something to definitely take a look at with the research paper and definitely something to play around with if you're a developer and you want some sort of ai tool to benefit you on your day-to-day -day tasks so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you got some sort of value throughout today's video if you want me to focus on something different with this model definitely let me know and i can definitely focus on certain things to focus or highlight in my next video so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching definitely check out the patreon page if you want to join our exclusive discord if you haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you subscribe, turn the notification bell, and like this video, as well as checking out our previous videos, which focuses on many different things in the AI world. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.